name is Ms. Artastic and today we're going to make cat color wheels. For this tutorial you're going to need something to draw with, so it could be anything, and something to color with, so it could be felt markers, uh, wax crayons or pencil crayons, or if you want to try experimenting with paint you sure can. Let's get started. For this tutorial, um, you're going to need something to draw with, so I'm going to be using Sharpie just so you can see it on the video, but please feel free to use whatever you have, whether it's a pencil, a pencil crayon, you could use crayon, or if you don't have anything that's black, feel free just to use a blue, brown, or purple, just a dark color. So we're going to be making some color wheel cats. These are some crazy cats and kittens. We're going to begin by drawing uh, three cats and they are going to be our primary colors in the color wheel and then we're going to make some toys for those guys and we're going to color them with um, the primaries to make our secondary color. Next, we're going to curve the head around there, just like that. Next. I'm going to draw some paws outwards. And two little legs. With a cute little tail. Add little lines in the paws. And then we're going to draw some other details. So this guy is going to be kind of a fancy kitty. So I'm going to extend part of the top of the head there down. I'm going to add a top hat on his head and maybe he's holding like a little fancy dancy cane. He's super posh. Okay, next we're going to draw the face, so we're going to draw two circles on either side of the head, like that. I'm going to color them in just a little bit, but leaving some white in the eye. Okay, next we're going to draw in between the eyes, so quite high up. We're going to draw a triangle for the nose, and from there simply two lines out to make the little cheeks. Okay, so that's our first uh, kitty. Actually, maybe I'll give him a little furry belly. Yes. Okay, first kitty done. All right, we need to draw two more kitties over here and here. And then uh, we'll fill in the in-between spaces with some cat toys for our cat color wheel. Okay. This kitty. <laughs> All right, I got an idea. Two ears, top of head. Again, bring it around for the side of the head. Next, I'm going to close this off. Add a little rectangle at the bottom. And from there, I'm going to draw a nice circle around there. I'm going to draw little parts in there to sing symbolize that this is a shiny surface. So it'll be the glare of light and that this is a cat wearing a helmet because it's going to be a space cat. All right, this base cat needs a space suit, so we're gonna draw 
the arms of the spacesuit. And we'll draw the body of it. And then we'll add his little paws out the side. Which would not be advisable if this really was space because your paws would freeze. But this is not a... This is art, and this is cartoon, and this is for fun, so we're gonna play with it. Alright, we should add some buttons and stuff. I don't know what's on a spacesuit, but I think they have buttons. Perfect. Now we also need to give this cat a face, so... Eye on one side. Eye on the other. Cute little nose. And this time we're gonna draw two letter U's for the cheeks. Okay, now we got two cats. How cute. Okay, our next cat is, let's see. This time I'm gonna draw a little bow first. For the top of the head. Two lines on either side with two little ears. Draw the sides of the head. Just like that. Hmm, this time we're gonna draw the body down and around. Draw some little legs, a tail, and this time we're going to draw two letter U's, just like that. And I'm going to add a little flower that this kitty's holding. Cute. And she has some stripes. After the stripes, I'm going to add the eyes, so the two eyes on either side of the head. Triangle for the nose in the middle. And for this kitty, <laughs> straight line. Perfect. Okay, so we got the cats for the primary colors. Now we gotta give these cats some toys to play with. So we need to draw three toys in these in-between spaces. So you can follow along and draw what I'm drawing, or you can make up your own cat toys that you want your kitties to play with. <laughs> so my first toy is gonna be a fish. I'm going to draw a mouse down here. And it's just a mouse toy, so I don't need to make it too detailed. Okay, little mouse toy. And finally, We'll do a ball that they can chase around the house. Okay, so we have our primary colors that are going to be the cats and our secondary colors will be the mice. I'm gonna be using felt markers to color with, 
but please feel free to use other things to color with such as crayons or you can use pencil crayons, okay? So whatever you have, please use that and experiment with how um, you might see the different colors blend as we begin to color and experiment with layering the colors to try to change them into secondary colors. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the red and I'm gonna color this kitty red and I'm gonna leave some details not red but most of the cat will be red. So I'm just using a normal felt marker and of course results will dif differ or vary depending on what kind of medium you use to color. So if you're painting and you happen to have paint you might get a more solid color change when you mix. If you're using crayons, it'll be different from if you use felt markers or pencil crayons. So whatever medium you use will look a little bit different as you blend, but please try and experiment with different ones. Whatever you have at home or in your classroom. So the first primary color that we have is our red cat. <laughs> then we'll do our space kitty yellow as our second primary color. Finally, we're going to color this little girl blue for our third primary color. So we have our primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. Now we're gonna use these same mediums, whatever you chose to use, whether it's wax crayons, pencil crayons, or felt markers, and we're going to blend them. So I'm going to use both of these colors to color the fish. So I'm gonna take the red, sorry, we'll do it like this. Take this red, take this yellow, and we'll color the fish with both. Or in this case, I'm gonna mix right on top so I'm gonna take this red and this blue, I'm gonna mix to make a color there. And then down here, I'm gonna take this color and this color, and I'm gonna mix to color that mouse. All right, so first I'm gonna do the fish. And again, results will vary depending on the medium that you're using to color with. Everything works differently, but you're going to see a bit of a change in the value or color that you create. So first, I'm gonna color this fish with the red. Then I need to add yellow on top. This is going to make it orange, a secondary color. A super bright orange and I don't think the color comes out quite as good on my camera but depending on what you use you're going to notice that there's a change okay then we're going to use some blue
and then I'm going to add red on top and this will make a type of purple. Wow, that definitely looks more black on the camera, but in life it looks purple. <laughs> All right, here we go. Blue. <laughs> oh, and yellow. And blue and yellow, yellow will make green. And green is another secondary color. So our secondary colors are orange, purple, and green. And as I said, results vary. And they sure do look different in front of me than they do look on the camera. But you'll see the results for yourself as you are working with the crayons in front of you. Okay, so before I do anything else, I just wanna um, quickly color in some of the details on the cats. So I'm gonna use my wax crayons that I got around me, and I'm gonna color in those finer details really quick. Okay, so now that my details are done, we are going to shade and highlight with black and white. And I'm using pencil crayons because for me, I find they um, work a little bit better. So I'm gonna add some highlights first on the toys. So, adding white to highlight. Back to shade.
And then we're gonna do the same for the cats. So white to highlight, black to shade. And when I shade around the cat's eyes, I'm just going to color in circles. Just add some shadows around the eyes. Just very lightly. And that just really makes those cats pop right off the page when we do that. Well, Artastic Nation, that's the end of this episode. Tune in on Tuesday evenings at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or 8 p.m. Eastern for the premiere of the next episode. Please subscribe to the channel. For more art tutorials, visit my blog at MsArtastic.com. Creative, high-quality art resources for teachers can be found at my TPT store, Ms. Artastic. And shirts for both teachers and art teachers are available at MsArtasticCollection.com. All links are available in the description of this video. See you next time.